I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Motorola Buds Bluetooth earphones and the LG Tone Plus. I did a more in-depth review on both of these, but this one will be a side-by-side -side comparison. I used to use the LG Tone Plus for my uh, primary uh, headphones, and recently when my Moto X, the Motorola Moto X, did the 4.4 Android update, for some reason, the volume control would only go down to a certain level. It worked fine before the update, so there's obviously something that's changed in the 4.4 update in the Bluetooth settings. And so the volume is still too loud. I can't get it low enough. Uh, so I picked up the Motorola Buds this past week, and these work fine. Uh, everything else work, works great on the LG. It's just the volume, so uh, I had to uh, switch. So let me talk about some of the uh, the controls, and and again, this is this video is just going to compare both of these to each other. As far as turning them on and off, the Motorola's have a button that you would hold down for three or four seconds. You'll get a light that flashes a few times, and then if you had the earbuds in your ears, you would get a voice that says, "Welcome to the Motorola Buds," and it would connect to your device. Uh, assuming you already had it paired, it would connect in about a second or two. Uh, the LGs to turn these on and off, it's actually got a toggle switch, and so uh, you would just turn this on, and you're going to get a light that flashes, and uh, it would pair also uh, really quick to your phone. And so the LGs, I like the fact that it has a light so that you know that these are on. Uh, the Motorola's, you really don't know that they're on because there there are no lights or anything, uh, which some people may like, some people may not. Uh, you know, it is kind of a bright light, and uh, once it's paired uh, or connected to your phone, this light would just flash every few seconds. It stays solid if it's not connected to a device. Uh, so with the Motorola's, you have to look at your phone and see the Bluetooth symbol on your phone to know that they're on. Uh, if you weren't listening to music, if you just ha kind of had them around your neck on standby and uh, didn't know if they were on or not. So I kind of like the, the LGs in that sense and the, that you know that they're on because the toggle switch would be in this position and also the light would be on. And turn the, the, Obviously just turn this toggle switch off on these and, and the uh, Motorola's, you would hold this button down for about two seconds and the light would kind of go blue and then go off and that's how you would turn those off. Both of these use a micro USB charger, which is the same one used for most Android phones. So if you're an Android user, that's convenient. On the Motorola, the, the charge port is in the back. It's got a little rubber plug that covers the charge port. And the same thing on the LG's a little port here. It's got a plastic cover. And that's on the inside of the, uh, the left one. LG advertises 10 hours of music time and 15 hours of talk time. Motorola advertises 10 hours of use. And I would say that's about right. I haven't done an exact timing of the, the use, but that, that seems pretty accurate. Uh, they both will charge in about two, two and a half hours. So pretty comparable as far as charge time and use time. As far as audio and call controls, on the LGs on the left side, you've got volume down here, volume up this way. Very similar in the Motorola's, it's just on the right side. Now these are oriented as if they were on your neck. Um, so this would be the right side. So volume down, volume up. As, as far as skipping uh, songs or uh, going backwards, on the, uh, on the Motorola's, this is your skip button. So you would press it one time to skip a song, double click on it to go back to the beginning of a track, or if you do it again when you're at the beginning, it'd go to the previous track. And so the uh, on the uh, LGs, it's got a, a bu one button for uh, skipping forward in the track and one button for going backwards uh, at the beginning of the track or going to the previous track. And uh, play pause on the LG, you've got one button here, so push it once to pause, push it once to play. On the uh, Motorola Buds, uh, you've got this button here, which uh, is, you know, you push it once uh, to play and, and push it again to pause. And it's probably hard to see in the video, but there are some engravings on the uh, Motorola Buds so that you can see what the buttons do. So a plus here, a minus here, 
and then a little uh, play button here. Similar to the uh, LG's except it's engraved actually on the button. To answer a call, both of these have the capability of answering calls just by hitting a button. The, uh, the LG's have a separate call button. Uh, so if you have a call coming in, you, you would hit the call button to answer the call or hold it down to reject the call. Similar on the Motorola's except the play pause button is the one that you would use to answer a call. So if the call is coming in, you would just tap the button to answer it. Um, you would tap it to hang up and if a call is coming in and you want to reject it, you would also hold this down for a couple seconds and it would reject the call. One thing unique about the Motorola's that the LG's do not have is a built-in equalizer. There are three equalizer settings on the Motorola's. And the way that works is if your music is playing, what you would do is hold down the play pause button and it would, it would uh, change the EQ settings and then it will say EQ changed. It doesn't tell you what the EQ level is in the voice, so you just kind of have to listen to the music. So it goes from what would be just a flat response to uh, one that maybe is a little bit more based than to one that's more balanced where the, uh, the lows are increased a little bit as well as the highs, which is the one I think sounds the best. So that is one feature that the Motorola's have that the LG's do not have. A feature that the LG's have that is really nice is these vibrate when a call is coming in. So if you had your phone in your pocket and you did not have the earbuds in your ears to hear the phone ring, then the LG's would actually vibrate. It's also helpful if you're in a loud environment, uh, maybe you're driving or in a, in a, a loud room, and um, you can actually feel these vibrate on your neck, which is really, really nice uh, so you don't miss a call. As far as call quality, I did a test where I called my wife and uh, she kind of gave me some feedback on which ones sounded the best. I did my own test by calling my voicemail and I got some white noise on the LG's, uh, but when I did the test with my wife, she actually said the LG sounded just a little bit better. Uh, not much of a difference. So I'm gonna say that call quality is probably about the same. Uh, again, my wife thought the, uh, the LG's was just a little bit better. Okay, a few more differences of these. The LG's are really flexible. So putting them around your neck, is, you know, you just open them up, put them around your neck. Uh, the Motorola's are stiffer. Now, they, they, the ends do flex, but obviously not near as much on the LG's. The Motorola's actually stay in place better, especially uh, when you're laying down on your back. So if you go to the gym and you're doing bench, bench presses or you use them when you're doing sit-ups, the Motorola's won't come off. Uh, I, if I lay down on my back with the LG's, they'll slip off my neck. So I would have to kind of either tuck them under my shirt or put them to the side to have them stay on. So uh, a benefit there for the Motorola's. Now, I have probably an average to maybe smaller size neck, and I have no issue with these. They, they kind of move side to side a little bit. Uh, if you had a large neck, it, it, these might kind of press into your neck a little bit. So that's one thing you may want to consider. Uh, whereas the LG's, they flex so much, it doesn't matter what size neck you have. Uh, the weight, I would say the Motorola's feel just a little bit lighter, uh, and the weight's kind of more in the back. Uh, whereas the LG's, uh, the weight's a little bit more in the front. Uh, as far as the range, uh, Motorola says that these go 130 feet, feet as far as the range. Um, I did test these and, and, and a direct line, you can get about at least 100 feet away from these. However, if you're in a house and you walk into another room, you're gonna get the same range with both of these. Uh, which is probably 20 to 30 feet, again, if you're in another room in the house. So uh, I honestly don't notice that big of a difference difference in the range. Uh, so I, I can't give an advantage to either one, even though Motorola says that, again, it has a 130-foot range, but it's got to be a direct line. A couple other features that are different. The Motorola's have a flat cord. You may be able to see that in the video. Whereas the LG's is kind of the, the standard size round cord. 
because it's such a short cord, you really can't get them tangled, but I do like the flatter cord. It just, it just feels a little bit more durable. Quality of construction, the buttons feel a little bit tighter on the Motorola's, uh, but they're, they're both, I think, made about the same. Um, if I had to just pick up one or look at it and, and give a, a thumbs up for the uh, quality, um, again, they're both good, but I would kind of give the advantage to the Motorola's as far as durability. Um, but I've only had these for about a week, and so we'll see uh, how the durability is. As far as the earbuds, the LG's kind of go, the shape is so that they'll go more into your ear. And the Motorola's, they still go in your ear, but they don't go in quite as far. The seal is more on the outside. The LG's are probably a little bit easier just to put in your ears and not have to jiggle them around. The Motorola's, you kind of have to jiggle them around to get a good fit. But once you do, and I mentioned this in my full review of the Motorola's, once you do, uh, they stay put really well. Uh, as with any earbud, the fit is really, really important to get a good sound quality. And I'll, and I'll really go into sound quality here in a minute. Uh, but with the Motorola's, when I first got them, they had the smallest sized ear tips. And uh, I actually did not like the sound quality. I did not get any bass and uh, it, they really uh, just didn't sound good. However, when I put the large, the, uh, these are actually the largest size ear tips they come with. Each of these come with, I think, three different pair of ear tips and di different sizes. Once I put the largest size and got a good seal, the sound quality is amazing on these Motorola's. Uh, the Motorola's have a little bit better bass response. Uh, both of them have a pretty clear bass. Um, it's not a muffled or muddy sounding bass. Uh, the Motorola's have a little bit more punch to the bass, and it's just a little bit deeper. Uh, but for, for Bluetooth headphones, both of these have really good sound quality. As, and the mids and highs, the Motorola's are uh, a little bit crisper sounding. Uh, and so listening to music, I would give the advantage to the Motorola's. They just they sound better in the mids, lows, and highs. Um, now, I'm not going to discredit the LGs because both of these uh, sound really good. And I did, I've done a lot of comparisons um, with some other headphones. I even compared the Blue Buds X and the, uh, the Klipsch S4 wired headphones. And um, the Motorola's, uh, as I went over in my full review, uh, sound really similar to the Klipsch. It was hard to pick a winner. Um, whereas if I compared the Klipsch to the LG's, the Klipsch uh, definitely sound better. I still think this, the Klipsch S4 sound better than both of these, but it, it's very hard to tell a difference between those and the Motorola's. So I, I just use that as a reference for these because uh, the Klipsch uh, are, are really well known for their sound quality uh, in that price range. So again, to emphasize on the Moto Motorola's, you've got to make sure you get a good fit. It's not hard to do. Uh, it just takes a second, but I found with the Motorola's you have to play some music and just kind of wiggle them around in your ear. And what's also, uh, what also I've found is that once these ear tips kind of warm up to your ear, they actually fit a little bit better. Uh, both of them uh, fit well. And ear tips, you know, you can go to aftermarket companies like uh, Comply Foam and get custom ear tips for these for, you know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. Uh, so if you don't get a good fit with either of these, um, you can get some aftermarket tips that should work. So that's going to wrap up my side-by-side -side comparison of these uh, Bluetooth headphones. Uh, and let me just say, as far as the cost, uh, both of these are about the same. Uh, on Motorola's website recently, they've actually lowered the price of these by about $20. Uh, so uh, if I had to pick a winner here, I'm definitely going to go with the Motorola's. Uh, you know, even if they they cost the same, I would still pick these because of the sound quality. I also like the fact that they have fewer buttons to think about. So you've got four buttons here, whereas you have six on the LG. So just a little bit less to think about once you learn how these buttons work. But both of these are great. Having the convenience of these uh, around your neck 
is is really nice. So if you're using like a wired headphone uh, and you've got it, you know, you're you're kind of taking them in and out to answer calls or listen to music throughout the day. Uh, with wired headphones, it's kind of like you know, what do I do with the headphones when I take them out? I can either clip them to my shirt or take them off the phone. Uh, whereas these, um, you would just use these in, these magnets. And I didn't mention this before, but but they both use magnets. The LGs have this kind of recessed cup that the uh, earphones uh, go into with the magnets, and the Motorola's they just kind of go on the end. And so again, it's really nice just to be able to stick them on the ends when you're not using them. Uh, wearing them around your neck throughout the day and just pulling them off the magnets and putting them in your ears. So very convenient. Not only is it convenient to not have wires that get caught on things, uh, but it's also very convenient just to store them when you're not using them. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the review here, the comparison. Hopefully it was helpful to you. And thank you for watching.